Let's bring in my Sky News colleague, former Labor Minister Graham Richardson. Richard, let me start with the very sad news, the death of Peter Murphy. She, she died at the age of 50 after a long battle with breast cancer, much loved within the Labor caucus. You saw that from Penny Wong, very emotional in the Senate. You saw it from the Prime Minister who was crying and emotional, understandably, at his news conference. It's a difficult day when a member of the parliament passes away, let alone someone um, like Peter Murphy. She was just 50 years of age. Yeah, I know. It's just so young. Um, that's, that's what I think. You know, every time somebody mentions this, she was just so young uh, and had a tremendous career in front of her. So I think it's awfully sad for her, for her family, uh, for Australia. It's, uh, it's a very sad day and we, uh, we should all acknowledge the contribution she had made and we can only wonder at the contribution she might have made. Yep, indeed. And uh, a tireless advocate for breast cancer awareness over many years. Uh, Richo, let's look at the, the end of the year now in a political sense. And we've just been chatting to Michaelia Cash there. Uh, the Coalition surely will back the government's efforts to re, re, uh, return those individuals back to detention through a preventative framework, Richo. Well, they'd have to. They'd look ridiculous if they didn't. So I, uh, I don't think there's much doubt about that, Kieran. What's your read on where the government is more broadly? You and I, we've chatted about the polls and there's been a bit of a, a dip since the referendum, but we have seen governments over many terms, over decades, where there have been midterm slumps. There'd be some in the Labor caucus who'd be worried about the Prime Minister's standing, but uh, there is a long way to go. What's your read? Oh, there's a hell of a long way to go. I don't think there'd be too many in the Labor caucus worried yet. Uh, how many times have you seen over the years uh, the party get behind, uh, whatever party it is, get behind during the, uh, the course of the, uh, the three years and then come back at the end? I mean, it happens all the time. So uh, I think it's a long way before any of us ought to be making some uh, yeah. predictions about who's who in the zoo. I think we should just take our deep breath and wait a little while. Yeah. I, I, absolutely. And the thing that's working in the favour of Anthony Albanese, you can say the same for Peter Dutton, is a very unified team. There's no um, challenge to the leadership from either side. You know, in past years, recent years, we've always had an heir apparent chipping away or undermining. That's not happening on either side. And I guess that augurs well for both Mr Albanese, but Peter Dutton as well. Yeah, it's, uh, it's remarkable how unified both sides are. I'm stunned. I've been looking at this for 50 years and I've, I don't think I've ever seen a, a situation where everyone's happy with each other the way they are at the moment. It's, uh, it's quite surprising. Uh, but for uh, Dutton and Alba, of course, it's pretty good news. And, and partly for Peter Dutton, the reason why, do you believe he's, he's been able to find his line and length because he's been obviously on the on the climb in terms of the polls, but I think his, his confidence is up too in recent months. Oh, yeah, look, I think he's performing really well. Uh, now that some of my uh, Labor colleagues wouldn't like to hear me say that, but I think Dutton's doing very well at the moment. Uh, and I think a lot of people wrote him off, uh, which was pretty unwise. This bloke is, is tough, and he keeps winning a seat that Labor's been gonna going to win for yeah. uh, decades. He just keeps winning. Yeah. He's got a 2% margin. All around him you'll see 4 5 and 6% swings, but they never get the 2% mm. to knock off Dutton. So there must be something special about this bloke. He knows, he knows how to win that. Uh, the marginals, Richo, thanks. We'll talk to you next week. Appreciate it. OK, Kieran, thanks.